Okay, guys, we're back at it again. Um, this is Cinebench 11.5, um, running on the Phenom X6. Last time you were watching me doing this, I was doing it on my Athlon X2, which I have successfully sold on eBay. Um, AMD has made an impressive chip, and I think that's one of the best chips. Um, because um, I think that's, I, uh, you know, compare that to the Phenom X6 and the Athlon. Those are some two good chips, but I got to give it up to the Athlon because that one can overclock like a dream. I mean, it it will overclock, and you mess with the voltages, you can even get it to four gigahertz. But just you just really got to be, really got to be an enthusiast uh, to, to 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 tweak that processor all the way to its max. But it overclocks like a dream. My Phenom X6, on the other hand, is a very powerful processor, multitasks like a dream, but it doesn't overclock like a dream. This is the 1035T. This is Cinebench. We're gonna run it on the CPU right now. Now I got one point. 1.86 on the uh, Cine Bench on the Athlon 2. Now here's the Phenom X6, and we're gonna see what happens. Now that was the Athlon 2 X2 250, codename Redger processor. This is um, I don't know I forgot what they code name this one as, but this one's actually loading. Me. Oh wow, that's absolutely quick. Look how fast it's rendering that. The Athlon was still here. <laughs> it was still here. That's pretty quick. You know, compared to the uh, Athlon. Because, as you see, it's rendering these squares over here. But, it, you know, before it's even done, it starts on another section. This image is almost done. It took me, I don't know how long, like two minutes, a minute and a half on the Athlon. And here, it's not even a minute pass. Maybe on the video, yes. But this is this is done. It's finished. It's finished, basically. And uh, I can't wait to see the score. This is absolutely fast. So now you can see the difference in the performance differences between that CPU and this CPU. I will put the uh, links in the in a, a annotation in the screen so you can actually see how, wow, it's done. Holy crap. I did not expect it to, <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Oh, it destroyed the Athlon. 5.47. I beat the Core i7-860, yay. But, um... Wow, and I'm running neck and neck with the uh, Core i7 960 CPU. So that is a pretty big jump. Pretty big jump. Uh, my CPU, I mean my GPU, I will uh, do... Wow, that blew my mind. That, that, that took less than a minute to complete. Um, but yeah, when I get a new GPU, stay tuned for that. I don't know when the hell I'm getting one, but my 6570 is working like it should. I, I love it. It does everything it needs to do. It renders my movies properly. It's DirectX 11. I mean, what could you not want out of this cheap $80 video card? I didn't pay for the rebate, so I didn't. Go, I didn't do the rebate. I shoulda. But um, now that I have a printer that has fax and all the features that you can want in a printer, then I didn't have it. But I mean, this this was an impressive test. 5.47 out of the 1.8. I got on the Athlon, so you can tell the performance difference. This is a very powerful CPU. I got it for a steal. AMD, I mean Tiger Direct was giving them away. Ninety-nine dollars free rebate. I mean ninety-nine dollars, thirty dollar rebate. So it was one hundred thirty dollars, thirty dollar rebate covered the thirty. I'm only paying ninety-nine, and uh, the rebate does work, guys. I'm getting mine on an American Express card. They don't send it to you in a the check. They send it to you on an American Express g gift card. So however you wanna dispose of that money is up to you. But uh, this has been Cindy Bench on the AMD Phenom X6. Excuse me. Let me do this right. This has been Cindy Bench Release 11.5 on the AMD Athlon AMD Phenom 2 X6 1035T. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and subscribe. And stay tuned for any of my upcoming tutorials, videos, unboxings, whatever.